so hello students welcome to the next session of the physiology series and today in succession to the topics what i have discussed in the previous video about the eeg waves today the topic of my discussion will be about the sleep cycle and the six eeg waves during sleep the mnemonics particularly i'll be focusing upon as to how we can very easily remember the different types of the EEG waves what are produced sequentially during a sleep. So students, beginning with, I'll be focusing upon the mnemonic about the EEG waves. So beginning with, uh, firstly, let me give you a brief gist that the sleep, what is there, it becomes, it arises from when we are going to the bed and we are in a state of uh, awakeness we are awakened. So in that condition, that is the first stage of the sleep and it is the first stage of the sleep can be, it is the stage of awakening and where the eyes are open. So students, the eyes are open and the waves what are being produced by the during full awakening, it is the beta waves what are being produced. So beta waves, that is, these are the waves of the much higher frequency, higher frequency waves with intense brain activity so while when once we go to the bed and lie down with our eyes open the first type the first type of waves what is there what is recorded by the electroencephalogram it is the beta waves which are having a higher frequency moving on to the next stage that is the eyes closed still we are in a state of awakeness but we are still awakened, but the eyes are closed. So in that condition, the alpha waves are being produced. So moving on to the next stage of the sleep, that is the non-REM sleep. It is during the non-REM sleep, what is the, uh, what happens is it is a quiet sleep and where in the all the physiological activities the all the physiological processes of the body it slows down during the non rem sleep so the non rem sleep it is the non rapid eye movement sleep in which there is going to be no rapid eye movement during sleep so it has been broadly divided into three categories that is the n1 n2 and n3 so beginning with the first stage that is during the N1 of N1 stage of the non-REM sleep. That is, it is the stage of drowsiness. So students do remember that it is during the N1 stage, the person, the the person is going to be a little bit of having a feeling of drowsiness. So in that condition, the waves what are being emitted by the brain, it is the theta waves. So students, what are the characteristic features during the first N1 stage? That is the stage of drowsiness. In that stage, what we are going to have is, it is there is going to occur a decrease in the alertness level of to the external environment. Moving on, there is a uh, there can occur hypnic jerks can occur, and there is a decreased muscular tone. So, students, this was the first stage of the uh, non-REM sleep. The first stage it is the N1 stage. That is, it is the stage of drowsiness. Moving on to the next state, that is the N2 state, where there is a light sleep. So, during the N2 state, it is a light sleep stage, and 45 to 50% of the sleep, what is there in adults? It is the N2 state, that is the light sleep stage. 45 to 50% of the adults, they show the N2 stage of the sleep. And here the characteristic feature, the characteristic waves, what are being seen in the EEG, it is the sleep spindles and the K complexes. So students do remember that is, it is the during the stage of the light sleep or the N2 stage of the non-REM sleep, it is the sleep splint spindles and the K complexes are seen. So the characteristic feature of the N2 state can be looked upon as it is there is no conscious awareness of the external environment and there is a decreased muscular activity. Moving on to the third stage of the non-REM sleep, that is the third stage, it is the deep sleep stage. So it is during the third stage, that is the waves what are seen, it is the delta waves. 
So the characteristic features what are seen over here, it is the parasomnias can occur, the night tremors, in medical terminologies, the night tremors are called as the paver nocturnus. There can occur bed wetting, which is also called as the nocturnal inuresis in medical terminology. And the uh, features of night talking and night walking are also seen during the stage of the N3 stage of the non-REM sleep. So students, this is a very frequently asked question as to in what stage of the non-REM sleep that the features of the uh, there is there can occur the night walking and the night talking that is and even the bruxism can also be seen in the N3 stage of the non-REM sleep. So students do remember there are certain things what is needs to be taken into consideration that is it is the delta waves what are being produced in a deep sleep the features of night tremors, the bed night, bed wetting and the sleep talking and sleep walking and bruxism. These are the special distinguishing features of deep sleep or the N3 stage of the non-REM sleep. So students, one thing more I wanted to uh, specify that the night talking, it is in uh, medical terms, it is also called as the somni loke. That is the somni loke word is given to night talking when uh, people they uh, start speaking while sleeping it is called as the somni loke and when it comes to somna bullism the somna bullism it is the term what is given to night walking when people they when they sleep in walk when they uh, walk in sleep it is called as the somna bullism even the features of bruxism that is the night grinding or the clenching of the teeth rubbing of the teeth during sleep the uh, bruxism of the brux bruxism habit that also occurs in deep sleep so moving on to the next important uh, next stage of the sleep that is the rem sleep so this rem sleep it is that is the of the entire sleep cycle it is mostly seen during the 20 to 25 percent of the time of the total sleep it is the no, uh, rem sleep is going to occur that is of the entire sleep cycle only 20 to 25 percent of the sleep cycle it goes in the rem sleep and students the waves what are seen during the rem sleep it is again the beta waves which are having the highest frequency and with the greatest frequency and the greatest alertness so it is during the REM sleep that is the rapid eye movement sleep. It is a stage of rap. It is a stage of a vivid and lucid dreaming. So the most of the dreams what are being registered, what we can recall the next morning, it is during the REM sleep. Whereas in the non REM sleep, no such dreams are registered. All right. That is during the uh, particularly in the entry stage of the non uh, non REM sleep, as we don't. Uh, there is no registration of the dreams. We do not, uh, the dreams are not registered in the deep sleep of the N3 stage of the non-REM. But it is in the REM sleep that the dreams are being registered. It is a stage, uh, the REM sleep, it is a stage of a vivid dreaming where the vivid dreaming occurs and we can have a memory of such dreams. Due, it is during the REM sleep. Moving on, the REM sleep, it is characterized by the beta waves, which is going to have the highest frequency and the features what are seen during the REM sleep, it is that there is an increased heart rate. There can occur an increase in the respiratory rate as well. And in, um, it, is, it, can, it is found that the penile erection, the penile erection in males, it is also seen during the REM sleep. So students, this was a short review about the different stages during the sleep cycle from awake, eyes open, eyes closed. Second stage that is the non REM sleep moving on to the third stage that is the REM sleep. So students, the mnemonic what I'll be discussing today, it is as to how we can sequentially remember these different types of EEG waves in the exams. So students, it becomes very cumbersome and difficult to recollect as to what wave is coming in what order. So these waves, while uh, talking of these waves, 
the order what is there the six eeg waveforms in order can be better remembered if we just look at the statement that is at night bats drink blood so students do remember at night bats drink blood if we just remember this statement we can very easily remember the sequential order of the eeg waves what is seen during the sleep cycle so beginning with where every alphabet of the bats that is the b a t s the initials of the letter of the alpha of the letter drink that is d and the initial letter of the word blood that is b is going to correspond to one of the waves so at night bats drink blood if we just remember this statement as a mnemonic we can very easily make out the different types of waves what are seen in succession during the sleep cycle so the bats the b of the bats is referring to that is the b a t s so the first stage was b a t s and drink the d for the delta and finally the b of the blood is going to refer to the beta waves so students do remember at night bats drink blood this statement is the mnemonic for easily remembering the six stages the six waves what are produced during sleep in a perfect order we can very easily remember the order of the waves in the exams we can very easily make out so students this was the short understanding or a short uh, 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 this was a short discussion about the sleep cycle and the non rem and the rem sleep so students uh, if you do like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel and do press the bell icon so that you can be further updated about my newer videos thank you for watching